Hey there fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father. This would be the uh, 16th episode and in the previous one we had reached Germany. But um, unfortunately Wolfgang was not here. So we basically looked into all the information that would lead to being baptized essentially as a, a Schottenjager. And then we went through a dream and woke up this next day on day 8 here. And this key is here. I think this is the key we're going to need for the I door. I believe it. It's the key from my dream. Yep. So we're going to try that out and see if that'll get us in to what I'm assuming is this guy's library. A little spin around. He's not an ambi-turner. Couldn't turn left, he had to turn right. It fits. <laughs> There's his library. That looked like a puzzle on the wall, too. Sociology books, archaeology books. Gabriel wouldn't know where to begin with the sociology books. Can I just look at them all? There then? are books on sociology in this part of the library. It's like, oh boy, we got a lot of look at chairs, tables, archaeology books, geography books, occult books, religion books, science books, Ritter journals. Ritter journals. Although it probably won't shed any light on Wolfgang's whereabouts, Gabriel picks up a book from the Ritter section. This no, book is not. entitled Malleus Maleficarum, The Witch Hammer. Dated 1486, it's a witch hunter's manual from the Inquisition. Oh. I'm not so sure I'm really interested in knowing about some of my ancestors. <laughs> it should be. History books. Gabriel wouldn't know which... History books to read. Gabriel wouldn't... No religious books to read. Gabriel... Yeah, they not knowing about science. I just want to see if there's any reaction. Oh, there's some occult books we're going to take a look at. Probably wouldn't know what to pick, Although but. it probably isn't connected with the case at hand, Gabriel picks up an occult book. It's a book on lycanthropes, <laughs> shapeshifters. <laughs> the book claims that lycanthropy is not uncommon. Nope. Supposedly, it's the next game, actually. There's been evidence of apparently normal human beings turning into various beasts throughout history, including some famous trials from the Middle Ages. Fascinating. Gabriel's made a few women turn into beasts himself. Uh huh, stupid. <laughs> Gabriel's not sure what to. Do with geography books. Gabriel. Don't know what the archaeology books. All right. Well, the only other thing of interest is this thing here, so let's go ahead and see if we can figure this puzzle out. Hopefully, it won't be too ridiculous. Oh, Lord, is this a sliding puzzle? It moves. Okay. Yes, okay, perfect. It's not even a hard puzzle. You're in the corner. Gabriel slides there we the go. last tile into place, revealing a compelling coat of arms image of a lion and a snake that looks familiar somehow. You should. What's With that the shield's for? image in the proper Ooh. order, the wall opens to reveal a hidden room. Well, there you go. Every good castle has a secret passage. Achievement popped up. <laughs> Can you walk any more slowly into this passage? There we Behind go. Behind the wall is a shrine to Schottenjäger's past. Wow. Their weapons, trophies, and legacy. A Schottenjäger trophy room. Fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I agree. That's the only thing of interest, huh? In the whole thing. All right. A title catches Gabriel's eye. People's Republic of Benin by Lowell Cayley. I'm surprised that's Gabriel the only thing to look at in here. Entitled, People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The People's Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the oddest, fiercest, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The okay. Fons, the Dahomies, and the terrible Agri. The, the homies, book, The huh? Primal Ones by John Roots, provides insight into these fascinating cultures. Primal Roots. Okay. There are books on... 
Oh, Gabriel recognizes a title. Ah, there we go. The Primal Ones by John Roots. That's a good guess to start off with. I don't think that'll be a sociology book, but whatever. I suppose Gabriel it would make sense. Gabriel takes down the Primal Ones and opens it. In contrast with the peaceful, nomadic tribes of Northern Africa, certain tribes of the Southwest were vicious and xenophobic. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed, in a perpetual state of war and raiding, some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Okay. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, <laughs> one must look delights. even further back. See Ancient Roots of Africa by Early Days. Ancient Africa Geography. These shelves display books on geography. Archaeology. These shelves contain books on archaeology. History. These shelves contain history books. Gabriel recognizes a title. Ancient Roots of Africa by Early Days. In the early days. Oh, is that the hint? Because it's history. Gabriel <laughs> removes ancient roots of Africa and browses through it. The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessors. This guy has a decent African Egyptian background time, of stuff. 4,000 to 2,000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exists in Africa today. Huh? See Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. A curate or accurate? Curate. Curating would be archaeology. These shelves contain books on archaeology. Nope, guess not. Science? These shelves contain science books. Geography. These shelves display books on geography. Occult. This part of the library contains books on the occult. Necromancy, okay. witchcraft, demonology, lycanthropes. <laughs> there are books on sociology in this part of the library. Gabriel recognizes a title, The Primal Ones, by John Roots. It's not the one I'm looking for. These shelves contain books, journals, di Something to peruse extensively when Gabriel has more time. Yeah, yeah. Religion book? These shelves contain books on religions of all kinds. A title catches Gabriel's Yeah, okay, eye. there you go. Worship. Sun Worshipper. That makes sense. By A. Curate. When, again, don't think that would be make sense. I figured that I thought the names were going to be clues, but apparently Gabriel I was wrong. Gabriel takes down Sun Worshippers and scans it. One of the most earliest religious practices was that of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. The African sun god was violent and terrible, and so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. The homeland of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. Seymour Shards, I like it. Definitely gotta be archaeology. These shelves contain books on archaeology. Gabriel recognizes the title, Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. <laughs> Goofy name. Gabriel takes Ancient Digs of Africa and opens it. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin. Oh, located there you 50 go. miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the Snake Mounds of we North America, see about going there. the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery. Though clearly they were the result of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound. A small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists explored the mound site, 
the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. Kay. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstition. The local people regard the mound with fear and won't go near it. A double snake ring? Gabriel flips furiously, looking for a picture. Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. Gabriel decides oh, to go. hang on to the snake mound book. I think that's the one we need then. There's nothing else to add to it, so let's go and see if we can talk to the secretary lady, um, Hird, and see if she can get us any Good kind morning, of uh, night. I'm geared. cooking your frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please feel at home. Thanks. Hey, uh, can you give me the Africa? Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. I found this book in the library. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. Africa? You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, mm -hmm. I guess so. Good, good. My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? Uh, yeah. Are you sure the Ritter Estate can't pay? I manage Wolfgang's books, I am quite sure. Have you <laughs> any money? Yeah. I know, we can use his credit card. Terrific. I will go make the call. Then, while we wait, breakfast. Does that mean I can get some coffee now? <laughs> it's two days he hasn't had coffee. On to Africa. That would make sense, the location. Enlightened day eight. Day nine. And then the wheel went round and round. I could not find my way. Twelve and three and turned the key. I heard the madman say. Oh, there we are. This almost looks like a painting with the 3D coming in on it. It's a weird way to do this. I mean, I know it's been that way for most, but this is the one that's looked the least real for, it, for that background. Just came over nothing back there. Thank you, sir. Most valuable person. Wheel within a wheel. You want I stay here, right? It's a long walk back to the city. Yeah, sure. Wait here, please. I may be a while, though. No problem. I could use a nap. Weird accent for that guy. So we're here in Africa. I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want, check that notification bell to know when I'm going to be doing my uh, live streams and other things like that. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left. And you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.